Christian consulate is more than a church. It's a manifestation of the doctrine of Christ. The doctrine of Christ is the word of God and the revelation given to the Lord Jesus Christ by the Father. The doctrine of Christ is the gospel of the kingdom and the message the Lord Jesus Christ came to minister in this world. The doctrine of Christ is the teaching of the Lord Jesus Christ which he imparted to the apostles and the church which is also called the word of faith. At Christian Consulate, we minister faith in the Word of God followed by convincing proofs of the power of the Spirit. This allows us to experience a life of victory over the circumstances of this world, as we await the return of the Lord Jesus Christ to usher in the world to come. Welcome to Christian Consulate. We're glad to have you here. On Thursday night, we did communion, and then we spoke about open heavens. So today, we're going to double-click on it, because there's something the Lord is saying. So on the day, things started to fall out of the sky. Literally, we were falling out of the heavens. Were you there? So the Lord wants to do more today. So the heavens are open above us, but I want to show you how to keep them open. You should have said amen right there. You're not listening. We love you so much. Hallelujah. Will you follow? And then when you give, you're going to give your money into that revelation. Revelation. You saw into revelation. It's a secret. You saw into what? Revelation. It's important. Huh? Matthew 3. Matthew 3 verse 16. Are we there? Glory be to God. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. Did you see that? And then he says, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. Phenomenal. And what? The heavens. The heavens were opened unto him. Uh, here you could argue that he's talking about more than one heaven. At a time, because there is more than one, by the way. So now the heavens are opened unto the Lord Jesus Christ. And then we showed you a pattern of swords, didn't we? What's the next step? Something must descend. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. And he saw the Spirit of God. He saw. He saw the Spirit of God descending out of where? The very heavens that are now open unto him. This is tremendous, church. But what caused this? Ah. Can I cause it, Pastor? Yes. Can I knowingly, voluntarily open up the heavens above me? Yes. How? Another pattern I will show you today. Will you see it? Look three. Look three. Look three. Verse 21. Look three, 21. Look three, 21. And when all the people were baptized, it came to pass 
that Jesus also being baptized and praying the heaven was opened. And the Holy Spirit descended. Come on, church. You didn't see it, did you? What was he doing? He was praying. What does prayer do? Prayer opens up the heavens. Gosha. Savra Goshke le sebraha ke to sefahare. Glory be to God. So you can sit like this in your home and say, I'm going to open up the heavens above my home like this. Through what? Through prayer. I'm going to pray. I'm trying to show you something. Amen. Who's seen that? So heaven is a place. Can I show you? I'm trying to look for something that I can use. So perhaps I should use this mic stand. Or maybe this music sheet stand. Amen. Am I doing this correctly? If this is heaven, let me show you. If the top part is heaven, the church, will you see it? If this is heaven, here, and down here, it's earth. You see that? God wants to release something from here, directly down here, like this. But how? You must call it down. Did you see that? You must what? Call it down. Bring it down. Through what? Prayer. So, down here, there's the second heaven. This is the third heavens. Hey, come on. Second heaven, demons, principalities, powers here. First heaven, planets. Sun, moon, everything. Do you understand? You are down here. Amen. Are we together? Amen. When you pray, this opens up. Amen. This opens up. Amen. That opens up. Amen. When you pray. Amen. Have you come to church? Do you understand? God bless you, sir. God bless you. Thank you so much. Glory be to God. Hey, come on. Who's seen this? When you pray, you open up a portal. Here. All the way down like this. Hey, come on. So down here is an altar. All altars are portals. Do you understand? So down here, when you pray, on your altar, this opens up. Are you following? It's so true. It's so true. It's like saying, on the ground, you want to create a pathway. You are this side, something else is that side. In between, wilderness everywhere. What do you do? Create a pathway. For something to move from here to there. So he was praying, then something descended. But also things can also... How he ascended. pathway. In the heavens. Amen. Who saw that? So if, if the pathway is this, the altar is here, and you're here, you get nothing.
It's like saying it's raining in Joburg, but not in Kronstadt. It works like that. Come on, church. Who saw that? So prayer opens up the heavens. Not once, not twice. You pray consistently. Pray without ceasing. They're listening up there. Day one, a layer is shared like this. So frakatushka brakata. Klashka bruska frakara. Week two, another layer. I'm trying to reason with you. As you pray, the heavens open to you, above you. And then that becomes your portal as a person. Ordinarily, it works like this. As you move, it moves with you like this. From here onwards, the Lord Jesus Christ, miracle after miracle after miracle. Why? The heavens were now open. Not to everybody, but to him. So then people figured it out. Wherever he is, the heavens are open. So they ran to him like this. Found him. Whoever came here next to the Lord, miracle, healings, deliverance, resurrections. Are you following? I think you are. X2. X2. Hallelujah. Wow. X2, one. Amen. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord. Another secret unity in the church. Another one. Another time though. With that one. Amen. One accord in one place under one roof. United these ones. And suddenly, there came a sound from where? From here. Imagine there. Not from here, above the roof. From here, from heaven. A sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled Shusha. All the house, it filled, not Jerusalem. Please. All the house, hey, come on, where they were sitting, the heavens now are open unto who? Them, and them alone. Here. Same story. What caused it? Next one. Ah, glory be to God. You alone. Glory be to God. Uh, Verse 9. And when he had spoken, amen, these things, while they were beheld, or they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight, amen. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, and he went up, in what? A portal. Mm -hmm. By the way, here, he's in Bethel. Abraham made an altar here, by the way. 
another time, né? another time. Let's just leave this one. Hey, come on. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, two men. Did you say two? Amen. Two men stood by them in white apparel. From where? These are angels from where? Heaven. They came down the same pathway, by the way. Like that. <laughs> this same Jesus, which is taken up, he says, from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Hey, come on, same story. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath journey, day's journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon Zelotes and Judas the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. Our, our church opened upward the heavens. And something descended. It's a pattern. I'm trying to teach you something. Who saw that? Miracles are caused. Miracles are predictable, by the way. Very, very. Wow. So, trigger one, what's that? Prayer. X10. X10. Hallelujah. X10, 11. It's now Peter. Are you there? And saw heaven opened and a certain vessel descending unto him. Same story. Heaven opens, something descends. What triggered it? Verse 9. Verse 9. On the morrow, amen, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray. About the sixth hour. Very predictable. Open heavens. It's not a mystery, really. Amen. And he became very hungry and would have eaten. Meaning what? Also fasting. So fasting and prayer opens up portals here. Why? That's altar business. Come on, church. Is it a pattern? John 1. Next pattern. Will you see it? John 1, 47. Amen. Jesus saw Nathaniel. Amen. Come into him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Meaning what? He's a pure man. He lives a what? A holy life. Clean guy. This one. Obeys God. Are you still there? Nathaniel saith unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathaniel answered and saith unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God, thou art the King of Israel. Hey, come on. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, 
Believest thou, thou shall see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, hereafter. It's a promise. Hereafter, Nathaniel. Do you understand? Ye shall see heaven open. It's a promise. And the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Nathaniel lives a holy life. So what? Prayer? Fasting? This opens up. Are you following? It's so true. So when you sit here on your altar and you fornicate, this closes up. And you come to church and you say, Pastor, I don't know what's wrong with my life. It's true, isn't it? Eh? Hmm. I'm trying to help you. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Are you there? 28. Verse 12. Amen. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. He said open, then he said the heaven. Is that true? The heaven. To give the rain unto thy land in its season. But why? Will you see it? Verse 9. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he had sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. If you do this, the heavens will open. In other words, so predictable, is it not? So then what? Praying down here, fasting down here, né? holy living, obeying the commandments of God. This opens up consistently in your life. Amen. The life of Christ. Hallelujah. Genesis. 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 Are you learning anything? Genesis 20 verse 20 Maybe let's do Genesis Verse 8. Amen. Genesis 12, verse 8. And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, or Bethel, or Bethel, in South Africa, right? Hallelujah. And pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and High or Ai, a man on the east, and there he built an altar unto the Lord. This is now Abraham. Did he do it? Genesis 13, 4. Verse 
And maybe let's do verse 3 first. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel. Hey, come on. And to the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Ai. Yeah? And to the place, he says, of the altar. There's an altar now in Bethel. Is that true? Mm. Mm. Genesis 28. Genesis 28. Glory to God, are you there? Verse 10. And Jacob, he says, went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took off the stones of that place and put them for his pillar and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed. And behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. Meaning what? Heaven is open. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it. I love this so much. And said, I'm the Lord God of Abraham thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee I will give it. And to thy seed, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken thee of. Or to thee off. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. Surely. Hey, come on. And I knew it not, and he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? What is this place? This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gate of God. Please you. Hey, come on. And Jacob rose up early in the morning, took the stone that he had put for his pillow and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. What is this? Altar. And he called the name of the place Bethel, same place his daddy was, by the way. It's an altar, this place. The gate of heaven is the result. How God works, how God works. There's first an altar on earth like this. Come on, child. Prayer, fasting, eh? holiness. Now what? Giving, sacrifice, if you will. Abraham did it here. Therefore what? Give. And therefore what? Give. Give. So. a pattern. Do you want to see more? Malachi 3. Malachi 3. Verse 10. Are we there? Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. Amen. That there may be meat in mine house. Do what? Amen. 
And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour something out, something then will descend. Take God by what? Giving. saw there? So then what? Down here, prayer, fasting, holy living, obeying God, giving. And this opens up consistently over your life. Wow. I need to stop. Genesis 27. And I want to show you something now. The thing that's going to happen now to you from here onwards. Genesis 27. Amen. Verse 28 into 29. Mm -hmm. Therefore God give thee of this thing. The dew of heaven. What on earth is there? The what church? The dew of heaven. What is the dew of heaven? Will you see? The dew falls in the morning upon grass on the earth. You see that? To cause things to grow here. Is that true? On the earth. So, up here in the heavenlies, there's dew that falls like this. And it stays here to make things grow here supernaturally. Here, here, here. In heaven, in Zion. Oh. So then God then says, as the dew of heaven, they're supposed to fall in Zion only. Because we've got an altar down here. Oh, glory be to God. The heavens now are open unto you. So, I'm going to remove the ground of Zion. The soil of Zion. Do you understand? And this dew passes through here. Past here. Past here. Comes straight to the earth. To cause things to grow in your life. Supernatural. Supernaturally. Is it so true? Is it true? And then sometimes you come to church and then we minister here. Then you feel like it's like mist is falling in the room. The dew, the dew of heaven. Straight from here. By the way. When that dew falls, this happens in your life. This is about to happen now. In your life, in your life. Hey, come on, in your life. So, yeah. 28 again. Therefore, give, or oh God, give thee of the dew of heaven. This is, this is amazing. Hey, come on. He says, and the fatness of the earth. This dew makes the earth fat. Fattens up the earth. Yarakabraha. And then he says, and plenty of corn 
plenty of supply, plenty of provision. Did you see that? Plenty of wine in your life. Who's seeing this? You guys look so depressed. You so listen. We're releasing what they do of heaven into your life. It's it's about to rain like this in your life. Then he says, let people serve you as a result. This Jew does that. It falls on you. He says, let people serve you. And nations bow down to you. Be Lord, he says, over your church. Guchaka. Guchka fra gaba. Guchke friska bra 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 bra. Grushka frazi bra. Bra le broshka bra hakadaha. Oh, glory be to God. And let thy mother sons bow down to thee. Uh, uh, cursed be everyone that cursed thee. Blessed be he that blesses. Yaka roshka braha. The dew of heaven. Do you understand? Come on. Heaven's reign is here. The heavens are open now. Do you understand? Open upon you. Open above your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We found the secret. Glory be to God. We found the formula. We found the secret sauce. Do you understand? Are you hearing this thing? You, you. Shkaka, shkalale, brahaka. Do you understand now? Hey, come on, glory to God. It's about to rain in your life. Ah. Oh. So God shuttles things down through altars, through this pattern. But also, through the same pattern, things go up. They descend and ascend. When we are done with this dew of heaven, do you understand? And the earth is fed. Come on, glory be to God. There's corn, there's wine everywhere. They're bowing before us. Now we are ascending. Now we are moving up. Hey, come on, glory to God. I told you, we carry light. When we show, the lights just go. It's like, what is? Yes. We're trying to show you something. I think you're seeing it. Your church. The book of Revelation. Revelation 4. Are you seeing it? Revelation 4, verse 1. Hallelujah. Verse 1. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, our ah, church. A door opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said, come up. Why? 
Why? The heavens now are open unto the man. Oh, glory be to God. Things are coming down. Now he's saying, come up. Same portal, same pathway, same elevator. Do you understand? So now this place is the gate of heaven. Now the windows of heaven are open. The door of heaven is now open unto this man. What on earth was he doing? It's predictable. As you hear this, you stop being sick. Do you understand? Sickness just leaves you. <laughs> we are. Glory be to God. <clears throat> Revelation 1. Amen. Verse 9. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience, of Jesus Christ was in the Isle of Patmos for the Word of God and for the testimony oh glory be to God of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit in the Lord's day. He was doing something hyper-spiritual. He's alone on this island. I can guarantee you the man was praying. Something opened up here. The Lord appeared to him, by the way. He came from here. Appeared to him. Now they're saying, come up. Ah. Second Corinthians. And I'm going to stop here. And then we're going to do something hyper-spiritual. I love my job so much. You have no idea. Da, 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 da. Amen. Hmm. And maybe let's do 11 first, ne? then we'll do 12 now. Ne? I promise. Amen. 2 Corinthians 11, the Apostle Paul. Amen. 23. Glory to God. Are they ministers of Christ as speakers of fool? I am more in labors, more abundantly in stripes, he says, above measure in prisons, more frequent in deaths, often. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes, save one thrice. Was I beaten with rods once? Was I stoned thrice? I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day, he says, I have been in the deep, the ocean floor. By the way, it means mm -mm. immortality later. Glory to God, we must focus. In journeyings, often in perils. Of water in perils, of robbers in perils, of mine own countrymen in perils, of the brethren in perils, in the city in perils, in the wilderness in perils, in the sea in perils, among false brethren in weariness, in painfulness, in watchings, often there's prayer, in hunger and thirst, in fastings, often, in cold nakedness. Is that true? What's that? Altar stuff. The Apostle Paul. Chapter 12. Now this happens to him. Hallelujah. Verse 1. It is not expedient for me doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knows. Hey, come on. Such an one caught up. What happened? Meaning he was down 
somewhere on the earth. Then something happened. He was caught up, caught up. He ascended this man. Still reading. How that he was caught up into paradise in the third heaven where God is. Come on, church. What did he do? He ascended and heard unspeakable words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Glory be to God. So down here we fast, we pray. Holy living, giving, obedience to God, worship, praise, all that stuff, by the way, this opens up. First stage, things fall like this. Next step, they say, what's about to happen to us? Are you ready? Yeah. Did you learn anything? Yeah. What did you learn? What did you learn? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sacrifice. Psalm 133. Psalm 133. Hallelujah. Who saw it? So now as a church, this is now our word. Amen. Verse 1. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. Come on, church. In what? In unity. Like when? X1 and X2. Uh-uh. It's a petty. Hallelujah. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments. Shkarusa brahaka. This ointment is the anointing of the spirit, clearly. As the dew of Hermon. Amen. And the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. Church, who's seeing this? Phenomenal. Ah, uh, I need to quit. But I have to say this. He says, for there, for there. Where? There. Where? There. Come on. The Lord commanded. Church, the blessing, even life forevermore. Amen. Who saw that? Amen. Hebrews 12. It's time. You're old enough now. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12. Amen. Verse 22. But you have come unto Mount Zion. Here. Ooh. Glory be to God. Unto the city. Of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. The mother of us all, by the way, he said. God's angels are there. He starts. Oh. 
to the what? General assembly and church of the firstborn. He says, we are there. All of us are there. Together. In one accord. In your church, please. With Israel, it was Aaron. But now we've got the Lord Jesus Christ. Our high priest. After the order of Melchizedek. Do you understand? That unction now runs down from him. Upon what? Zion. In heaven. Do you understand the difference? Church, please. And then, which are written in heaven into God, the judge of all, he's counting. Is that true? It's the angels. It is the church. It is God, the judge of all. Hey, come on. The spirits of just men made perfect. There are people like that, separated from the church. These Please understand. There are beings like that. You know, talk about them. Who is Melchizedek? We used to say is the Lord Jesus. You know, the more we study, the more we read. God has things. Hallelujah. And then he says, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. He's still counting. To what? Yeah? To the blood of sprinkling. Church, you see that? Which speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Everything now is in Zion. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Zion here, the Zion. Do you understand? So God says to Moses, build this tabernacle according to the pattern you see here. Why? Build me a structure down here. I want an altar down here. I want the same pattern down here. Why? For things to ascend and Phenomenal, phenomenal. Did you see that? So now he says, you can sit down here. I'll rain the dew from down here. It will reach you here. Oh, you can go straight to the source. To Zion. Church. Are you learning anything? So the Lord shows up. He calls Peter. Did he do it? James and John. And now he is praying. Pattern. Is it true? Suddenly his face begins to shine. His clothing begins to shine. Two men descend from Zion. Moses and Elijah the prophet show up with a cloud on the earth straight down from here. Hey, church, please. It's a pattern this day in the scriptures. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? So, when the Holy Spirit came in Acts 2, He brought everything with Him. He's God Almighty. He brought the kingdom of God on the earth. But the Spirit now, Christ, who's up here, dwells here. The Father who's up here dwells here. By the same Spirit. Why? Heaven is now on earth through you, in you now. (laughs) 
Are you awake now? And happier? But you're talking about the dew of heaven. And it's falling. And then sometimes we preach like this and then you hear... This is now you, ne? Then you go outside and you check. There are no clouds. That sound came from... Go, 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 go. We heard it down here. Wow. I think that's enough. Who saw that? Who caught it? Did you catch it? So heaven is now open above us at Christian consulate. Wherever you go, it's like this with you. Glory be to God. I hope you understand. So tap higher. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Wherever you go, come on, at home, the heavens are open. Come on, at work, the heavens are open. At the office, the heavens are open. Come on, in your Uber, the heavens are open. In the taxi, the heavens are open. The heavens are open. Glory be to God. Is that true? It's so true. So as we carry this stuff, you understand? We carry it. When you call me like this, we connect spiritually. Even though you are there, we bring you here under this thing. And the miracle just happens like that. Open heavens. Open heavens. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. Are they open? Yeah. Stop being depressed as a result. Stop being sick as a result. Do you understand why the heavens are open? Stop being broke. Why the heavens are open? Why the dew of heaven is here. The corn is here. The wine is here. It's all here now. Glory be to God. Guchika bra. So, when you transact from here, this opens up. Do you understand? Come on, church. And then, when this opens up, the glory of God descends in your life. What do we call the glory of God? Is that true? However, however, he says, and my God shall meet all your no needs. According to where? Where is he? He's here in glory. This opens up and the glory falls like this. However, more than that, the glory resides in you. Is that harder? So then God tells us, we have been raised up together with Christ. We are seated now in heavenly places at the right hand of God. Uh, uh, church, where are we? Up here, in the glory. In the glory. Is that true? Uh -uh. Should I do more? Do you want to see it? Will you see it? Where are we? In the glory. But your body is here. Your soul is here. Your spirit is up there. All God's blessing now are up here in that glory. It's so true. And then God does this. He says, in your spirit, these things reside. But your spirit is also inside your body. So your spirit is so tall, so big. It's from here.
Eso. So then God traffics miracles from here to here through you. Through your spirit. By his spirit. From the glory. Do you understand what you are now? Wow. Church, did you see that? Very true.